Alright, go ahead and trigger your uh, gate and slowly turn it up until you see the load latch. Alright, it triggered. What's your current right there? About 100. Yeah, about 100 milliamps. Okay, let go. See if it holds. No, it doesn't. Go ahead and press it again. Turn that up to about 200 milliamps right there on your load. All right, see if that holds. Nope, take it up to 300 milliamps. See if that holds. Okay, go ahead and kill, kill your circuit with the kill switch. All right, flip it back on. All right, press the trigger button, trigger it again. All right, now go ahead and let go of the trigger button. Turn it down and see where it collapses. It took 300 milliamps to trigger it. Let's see where it collapses at. Tell me when it's down to 200 milliamps. Keep going. It's below 200, isn't it? Yep. Okay, it collapsed. Okay, now let's trigger it again and see what happens. Nope, it won't. Go ahead and turn that up. Turn that up a little bit. To about 300. Did that hold? Nope, a little bit more. See if that holds. It held. There we go. All right. All right, let's try a bigger SCR. Try that big giant one over there. Go ahead and hook that one up. Go ahead and look on the side of it. Should be G1. Nope, G2. Alright, is that G2? Alright, go ahead and turn your switch on. Alright, fire your gate. Let go. It didn't latch. Go ahead and, um, it didn't latch, but that gate current's enough. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Okay, see that's not enough gate current. 50 is not enough, but just just over 50 milliamps is enough. Okay, to trigger it. So now let's turn that up. Not enough. Let's turn it up some more. That latched it right there. What is that? 200? Yeah. Yep, that's about 200 milliamps. Okay. So 200 is enough to latch it. Let's turn it down. And see where it where it collapses. The hold. I run all the way down to 100, so it'll hold at 100 milliamps. Right there, bam. All right. Latch that SCR is good. At least half of it's good. Let's go ahead and we'll check the other half. We'll end this video though.